Yo, what is up guys? So I'm actually on CS today. A lot of you guys have been requesting more trade up videos since that's kind of what grew my channel. And a lot of you OG like subscribers are really gonna enjoy this video. Please don't look at my rank. I'm really trying, man. Like if you look at my videos, you can see I'm winning, but I just can't rank up for some reason. I'm trying to get back to MG. Just don't worry about it. 71 new items. We're going to be testing out a bunch of my older trade-ups in this video that are like cheap and really profitable or low risk. Maybe they're still good. Maybe maybe there's some dookie right now. So I have 10 Stat Track P250 Imperial. Some Stat Track Mag 7 Cobalt Cores. Some Tech 9 Reentries. Mag 7 Hardwaters. Some Dual Berettas Moon and Libra. And some Nova Exos. And some Mag 7 Sonar. So yeah, I have plenty of skins for this. So I'm going to tell you like the basic info of each trade up. So for the first trade up, I have 10 Satchak Factory New Mag 7 Hardwaters. And we're really going for the AK-47 Orbit. MK01. So this trade up costed me about $9.50 on OP skins value. I'm using OP skins value because I cash out my skins and I buy from OP skins. So I'm trying to use it like that. I'm going to be using OP skins to buy them just so we could trade them later on. But then I'm going to be using Steam prices and estimated OP skins prices for others. But really, we're going for that AK-47. Like I said, that's a 20% chance. All the other stuff is about a dollar loss. It's not that bad. So in my opinion, that's pretty low risk because you have a 20% chance at making nearly $30. It's like $30 to $33 OP skins value and everything else like I said, is about breaking even or losing a dollar. So you're not losing that much money and you have a chance of making a lot of money. I would say this is pretty low risk. Okay, we have 10 of these. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna circle it, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna just get this over with. We have a bunch of trade-ups to do in this video. So yeah, like I said, $9.50 OP skins value. I think it's like $11 like skin, like steam value. Let's just see what we get. Please give me this AK, please, please, please. Oh, we got it, yay. I don't know why I got so hyped about that. I got really hyped. <laughs> I got way too hyped for that. Okay, $37 steam value. Dude, Valve just totally rigged that for me. Thank you. So I have 10 Stat Track Factory new Mag 7 Sonars. This cost me about $9 OP skins value. This trade is a older trade that I made a video on and it did really good at the time. So there's a 40% chance at making profit in this. There's a 60% chance of losing about half your money. So this isn't one of the lower risk ones. Was ten dollars. You lose two bucks if you do get the dual Berettas, and then everything else is losing half. And if you do get the Cyrex or the Flashback, you get about twenty-one dollars. So you're making about eleven to twelve dollars profit. It's whatever. It used to be a way better trade up, honestly, but it still does work for some profit. I'm gonna just scratch this out because some people actually do like that for some reason. I don't know, dude. And I'm gonna just sign this. Okay, dude. If we actually make profit on this one too, we're doing so good as far as profit like because all the other ones are like cheaper trade-ups we're doing the more expensive ones right now oh my god why am i flipping out like i'm sorry but 20 dollars is nothing to flip out about but bro profit profit started off this video really good this next trade-up was actually really cheap it cost me about five dollars and fifty cents op skins value this is another one of those 40 percent chances at profit but it's a really cheap trade up on Steam value. The Op Phobo Stat Track Factory New is around $14. And the Stat Track Factory New R8 Revolver Reboot is around $18 to $19. And you do break even just about if you do get the P90 Chopper. And then you have a 40% chance of losing your money. So the odds are on your side to make profit or break even. So this is another pretty good trade up. And this is one of my older trade up videos. So yeah, I kind of do like this trade up to be honest with you. And I'm not going to do anything special. I'm going to just call this profit, you know, give me this simple, 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 easy, cheap, low risk profit, dude. Flashbacks all the way to older unit. Ah, oh, rip. Okay, that's our first rip. But like, like I said, this is like a dollar loss or something. It's not even bad. So the next trade up is 10 factory new tech nine re-entries. This one is a 67% chance at making profit. It's costing me about $8.50 on OP skins value. So it's pretty cheap. If we get the primal saber, we make about $4.50 profit, which is really good. If we get the minimal wear P250 Asimov, we make nearly $6.50 to $7 
most profit on Steam prices. So on OP Skins profit, it's still tons of profit. But we lose about two to three dollars with getting the Og Fleet Flock, and it's a really ugly skin. So. Ew. This, in my opinion, is one of the better trade-up videos on my channel and just one of the better trade-ups. I don't know. It's a pretty good trade-up, to be honest with you. And I don't know. I kind of like all the skins besides the fleet flock that you can get from it. So it's really good. Look at that handwriting, dude. It looks like I'm going into kindergarten. Like I said, it's 67% chance. Okay. We didn't make that much profit, but we made profit. And this is a really nice skin. We're doing very good as far as profit. So this next trade-up is 10 back to new moon and Libras. And this costs about $1.10 on OP Skins price value. So it is the cheapest trade up in this video. It's a little bit risky, but it's so cheap that it's pretty much low risk. 25% chance at making profit with getting the Opsa and Leo in factory new condition. And that's like literally making $4. Everything else, you lose about half of your money and you walk away at 50 cents. So it's not a bad trade-up at all. It's a really good, really cheap one, honestly. If you don't have that expensive of an inventory or Steam wallet, I think this is a really good one for you. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm just gonna make a bunch of circles. I don't know. I don't think we ever did this before. Kind of retarded, though. This, yeah, this is really retarded. Just get this over with. RIP! <laughs> Just what I wanted. <laughs> Honestly, this is one of the best trade up contracts in this video. It is getting 10 Satrap back to new P250 Imperials. This cost me about $10 on OP skins. So it's a really good trade up in my opinion. Okay, so basically there's a 60% chance at profit in this case and 20% chance at breaking even. If we get the Tech 9, we double our money. If we get the 5.7, we make like six to eight and we make $15 if we get the SG Tiger Mod. So that's what Steam prices too i gave steam prices for both of these because i just wanted to show you the real profit and if we do get the xm and the pp bison we lose like two dollars so it's really good once again prices do change a lot like these change since i done videos on them you can go back and check how much they changed honestly it's pretty crazy i'm gonna just uh x this one out just cross this one out i believe when i made this video the tech nine was the most profitable and now it is not it's actually the tiger boss so stuff has changed bro who knows okay but yeah for real though just double check prices i could always be wrong come on i think i think we got okay we broke even we broke even it's whatever as long as you break even i think you're gonna lose a little bit cashing out to ob skins but it's probably like a dollar fifty cents or something like that the last trade up is the 10 stat track mag 7 factory new cobalt core this used to be a way better trade up back in the day now it's kind of 50 50 if you get the galil you make about two dollars and if you get the p250 you make about three to four dollars you lose about a dollar to two dollars so it's not the best anymore but it used to be a 75 percent chance profit trade i just wanted to include it into this video because this used to be one of the biggest like low risk cheap trade ups you know back in the day so just want to test it out oh yay profit <laughs> anyway i think we ended off with a bit of profit guys i don't know i really hope this video was entertaining but anyway if you guys want to see more trade-ups like this or test out some of my older trade-ups just drop a like and a comment about it and i'll probably do more so yeah guys that's pretty much the video i really hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did like i said please drop me a like and just some feedback please turn on my notifications if you guys are subscribed so you guys don't get screwed over by youtube and if you guys didn't enjoy the video please drop me a dislike and a reason why but anyway I want you guys to have a really nice day at peace peace